Hey, welcome to Mesa RC Phone Fires. It's me, Mr. Marshall. I'm here with Ashton. And uh, before uh, uh, Easter break or spring break, whatever you want to call it, um, we had an, uh, he had an idea, and that was take the Quad Lux uh, 350 and incorporate it into a plus um, configuration uh, quad and place it inside of a body of a jet. And so for us, um, we decided to pick the Raptor. And you went to CAD first. Mm -hmm. we'll go ahead and talk about it. So it was over the spring break, and Mr. Marshall comes to me with this idea, and he uh, just said, put it in a Raptor body, but also have space for a quadcopter to go inside of it. So we had this pink foam that we could use to uh, laser, use the laser cutter to cut the plans out of. So I, uh, over the spring break, I went home and created this basic shape with the holes and then we put it all together and it made this. Yeah, flew really, flew really well, huh? Mm -hmm. um, our initial test, it went worked out great and um, we were a little confused on maybe where should we put the battery. And so we, we had originally put the battery underneath and it wanted to rock back a little bit so we put the battery up front with an extension and it worked out great. Mm -hmm. um, really, really cool project and uh, I think we should go out and, and see some of the extended footage of this thing in action in the wind and in the gym. Yep. I'd like to thank Quadlux for helping us out with buying all these motors and allowing Ashton to get creative and to create something like this. The Quad Raptor. Let's go play it. Well, Ashton, we're out here in the park with Ashton and we're about ready to go and test his Quad Raptor. Um, we got a slight breeze today, uh, which kind of Scares me a little bit because of what happened with our our main warthog, but I think um, I think we'll be all right. So I think this this initial test, what we'll do is we'll just test its hoverability. Can it hover? And then maybe we'll try to fly it around a little bit, and I'll buddy link with him so that he can test out the hovering functions. And then as he gets better with it, and as we both get better with it, because this is the first time we've ever done something like this, um, we'll actually start to fly it around like an actual plane. So we'll see, and we'll also see whether or not the KK2 board with the gyros can handle something like this. So you ready? Yep. All right, let's do it. It's getting way too windy, so what I want to do is I want to go into the um, cafeteria and we'll go test in the cafeteria. Okay. Let's go test in the cafeteria. Okay.
really well. Uh, <laughs> it just sort of stayed in one place, but still could go around wherever we, want, wherever we wanted it to. Yeah. Wasn't oh. too hard to maneuver. No, it was awesome. I, I think that, um, I think this is actually going to be pretty helpful for you because it'll teach you how to fly in the right direction, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and for me, I, I'm like used to just hovering right in front of us, but to actually be able to fly around in circles and fly it almost like a regular plane with the uh, use of a rudder was, was, was huge. It was a lot of fun. Very cool. Well, for Ashton to spend some time over the break to create this um, on CAD and then make it come uh, to happen with uh, using the laser cutter and all the stuff that we have at the school, um, this is definitely really, really cool. We uh, would like to thank Quad Lugs for sponsoring this episode. They're the ones that donated all this stuff uh, to make this happen. And uh, good work, buddy. Thanks. Yep. Thanks for watching.